it's Bethany and in this video I'm going to be sharing some really fun Cricut stuff that I have been getting in the mail lately and I have been having a lot of fun shopping. So I got a variety of things from a variety of different websites. These are all Cricut brand but I've been shopping on Michaels and Cricut of course and then Amazon and Target. So I have been having some happy mail days and behind the scenes I've been actually reorganizing my craft space. So I've been getting some new drawers um, and deciding on some new drawers and I've been um, getting some new organizational bins and just trying to decide how I want to work out my small little space that I craft in. Um, so while I've been doing that I've been just kind of setting aside any of the happy mail that I've been getting and as I am starting to get everything organized and put away I thought it'd be fun to pop on here real quick and show you some of my fun picks that I have um, really been excited about lately. So um, if you guys want to check out the description box I'll go ahead and and share links to each item that I am going to talk about today. That way, if you want to take a closer look, you can go ahead and just open up that description box and you can click on anything if you want to just take a closer look at them. So um, be sure to utilize that if you want to see anything a little bit closer or um, if you're particularly interested in any of the items that I'm sharing today. Okay, so one of the first things that I want to share are these infusible ink coasters. I'm super excited about these. Um, they come in square and they come in round, but I decided to start with the round ones and I'm super excited about them. I got a bunch of infusible ink as well. So um, I think the hardest part is going to be deciding which design to do first. So I'm really excited. Let me know if you guys have done infusible ink coasters yet and um, what you guys did on yours because I'm thinking these are going to be really fun. I have a couple really fun ideas um, going forward with these. So I hope you guys like it when I post that video. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about are the Cricut shirts um, for infusible ink. I will be honest, when I first kind of was starting with infusible ink and saw that, you know, it's really recommended that you use the Cricut shirts for infusible ink. Um, I was kind of bummed at first because I thought, oh man, that you kind of, I felt limited that, you know, I could only use the infusible ink on the shirts. Then I made my first um, in Cricut shirt and these Cricut shirts are really, really awesome. So I made a white one. I'll link a tutorial up here that I did. I made a white one and I wear that shirt all the time. It is so so soft. I love how it fits. And so I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys were like me and in the beginning thought, oh man, you have to use the Cricut shirts for the Cricut infusible ink. I was totally sold once I tried on my first one because they are awesome. So whenever they go on sale or I find that they're a good deal, then I definitely stock up. So I went ahead and did that. And I think I even have more coming in the mail because I think I found some the other day. Um, I'm not sure that they were on sale or if I just saw that I need wanted to get a couple more. Um, but I got a couple in white and I got a couple in gray as well. I haven't done a gray one yet, but, um, I am in love with my white one and all of the ones I got are the V neck. So I'm really excited to have just some as a backup because I feel like there's always such fun infusible ink designs and the infusible ink is so fun to work with because there's so many fun little colors and styles so definitely wanted to have some on hand um, another thing that I picked up was the infusible ink tote bag so I'm really excited about this let me know um, if you guys want me to do a tutorial about the coasters first or the infusible ink tote bag first um, because I'm kind of trying to decide which one I want to do first the coasters or the bag so let me know if you guys have a preference um, let me know if you want me to do one over the other first. So this is really fun. This is going to be compatible with the infusible inks. And this is the 14 by 14 one. There are two different sizes, I believe. So I got, I think this is the smaller of the two, I believe. Um, so I got this. I can actually open it up and see if, um, or just kind of get an idea for the size. I'm curious actually, just to see what that size looks like. But um, I think that's going to be really, really fun. So I think this is the smaller of the two, but um, I'll go ahead and just link this one up there so you guys can see and shop around. Um, so I am excited about this. This will be really, really fun um, to play around with with the infusible ink. Okay, so another thing that I got was I did purchase a bigger easy press mat and I just could not resist this polka dot mat. Isn't it cute? It is so sweet. I've actually um, been sneaking it into a couple tutorials before this video because I was way too excited to wait for um, this little unboxing video 
and I love it. So I got this when I, um, I think when I decided on getting the biggest easy press, I decided to get a bigger mat. Um, but isn't this so sweet? I can't remember the size, but I'll link it down below. And um, this is the blue and um, mint color one. And there's another one I think that has a different color um, pattern on it, but very, very cute. I'm really excited about it. And I love the size of it. Another thing that I got was I got these um, smart iron on sheets for the Cricut Joy. So this comes in a pack of three. So there's one sheet per pattern. So this is called the lumberjack iron on. Isn't this pretty? I think this is going to be really fun for fall and Christmas time. So I got a variety of things for a variety of seasons just because I was placing some orders. So I didn't keep this, um, you know, summer or spring. Um, but these are going to be super, super fun. I think this for Christmas will be super fun. If you guys want a tutorial on how to feed these smart iron on sheets into your joy, I'll go ahead and link one up here. Um, they're really easy and fun to work with. I've, I really enjoy them. Okay. So as we're talking about the Cricut joy, I also did get a couple different, um, smart vinyl rolls. So let me see what color is this. This one is the lime green, but it's not too lime, I don't think. I mean, it's obviously definitely greener than this, but um, I just think that's a, almost a really, really pretty grass green almost. Um, so I like that. And then this is more of a, this one's called forest green. So this I feel like is going to be really pretty around Christmas time. So I definitely got a roll of that. And then I don't know if it's the same exact color. Oh, this is the Kelly green. So this is the smart iron on so it's also a darker green um, and I've got this in the uh, Cricut Joy Smart Iron On and then another couple colors that I decided to get were of course this blush you guys know I love this color it's so pretty um, I have I done a tutorial on this one yet I can't remember if I've done a tutorial on this but this is just a really really pretty color and then this is my most favorite um, this navy color this is really, really pretty. Um, I love this. So I definitely got another roll. I think I got a couple rolls of these lately of the Navy. They're so, it's so pretty to use. And then I got my first, I haven't worked with a glitter smart iron on yet. So I got this, um, white, what color is this? Just white glitter. So I got a, a roll of white glitter. So this is going to be really pretty. And it has a little, um, sample right on the outside as well. So you can kind of, if you're shopping in store, if you're um, able to do that right now. Um, you looks like you can kind of get a little idea of what that looks like. And then a different shade of pink is this pink rose. So, um, you can kind of see the difference between the blush and the pink rose. One's a little bit more vibrant and one looks a little bit softer. So that is it for the Cricut Joy. I'm super excited. I love the Joy. It's been so fun to work with and the colors are really, really fun as well. Okay, so another thing I'm really excited about are the pens. So I went ahead and invested in the pen set. The, um, it does say that they're for the Explore machines. I do think you can put them in the Maker, I believe. I'm, you'll have to double check on that. But um, I went ahead and decided to get some more colors because I've been having fun with that writing feature and I thought it would be really fun to have a little bit more uh, variety in colors to work with. So I went ahead and got this. This is a 30 um, set of pens and it is the ultimate fine point pen set and let's see does it say the um I think they're all 0.4 in here um and then I found this little Martha set not knowing that these colors are all included in this so I found this and I thought oh my gosh I love all of these colors I love that they're um you know there's a blush and a red and a really fun blue and almost a hunter green um I just loved this um palette but then when I got both of them I thought oh my gosh they're you can pick out the same colors in here. So just know going forward, um, and I'm not sure if that's the way it is with all of them, but um, they were repeats on these. So um, lesson learned on that. But I'm really excited because there's some really, really pretty colors in this set. I'm really excited to, especially with some, um, I don't know, I can't, I, there's just so many fun things in Design Space that have some pen um, embellishments on it, and I thought this would be super fun, so I'm so excited for that. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to share is some infusible ink stuff that I have got. So I did decide to get some in the Joy size, and then I did get some in um, the regular size. size. Um, the thing about this is you can cut it down, though, and put it through your Joy, so if you, you know, find that you like a pattern that is you know, in the bigger rolls, you can cut it down and, and just feed it through the joy on your mat. So as for the joy, I did get this wild aster color. Isn't that pretty? 
it's like a it's almost like a plum purple I haven't used it yet but um, I love the color on the box and then I did get some infusible ink of this um, Buffalo so they um, it's similar to this pattern here well obviously the same but um I thought it would be fun to have an infusible ink option as well. So I did, went ahead and did that. And um, I think that'll be really, really fun, especially maybe on coasters or something. This would be really, really neat to do, especially around the holidays. And then I got this really pretty um, Natalie, Natalie Milan. Um, this is the Sunset Lagoon Sampler. So it has um, a really pretty pink, you know, sunsetty kind of color with some oranges in it as well. And then it has some blue teal colors. So each of these have two sheets in them um, so I'm really excited to play around with these colors I think they're gonna be really neat and then as for the big rolls I did get a roll of mint isn't this pretty I think this is gonna be really fun and then I got um, this is the pink lemonade pattern so this one has two sheets in it one is more of this speckled um, pink and orange kind of um, little pattern and then one looks like a little bit more of a sunset pattern it's real looks really really pretty Look on, oh, if you look on the back too, it kind of gives you a little bit more. And that one thing about the infusible ink is that when you bring it out of the box, it's very, very dull in color. So it brightens up after you press it, but it kind of makes you nervous when you first look at it because you're kind of thinking, wait, that doesn't quite look like it's supposed to, but it does brighten up. Um, another one, I did get two boxes of the distressed um, patterns because I have not used these but I've seen these used and they look really really cool so this is um, four sheets so it has one of each color this is the distressed berry so this looks really really fun and I love the colors in that and then I went ahead and got the same um, this is distressed cool water and it has different shades of teal and blue I think that blue is gonna be really really neat but I like the distressed look I think it just kind of gives a different um, like texture look on it so I'm really excited to, to do that and then I got um, a Cricut cutie which is kind of fun this is the first one I've gotten um, so I, I know that everybody really enjoys these um, I can kind of take it or leave it I'm not really a collectible person but I got the lilac one so that's kind of fun just to say that I have one I guess um, so now I'm gonna share with you some of the patterned iron-on so you guys know this is my favorite I get a roll all the time this is just my favorite this is the bloom or in bloom pink sampler this is so so pretty it has three different um, colors in it it's so fun I don't really want to open this one just because I have another one opened I want to keep it kind of um, organized but I'll open some of the other ones for you another one that I got and I used this in the um, let's see I did some sheets of the, with the Cricut Joy this comes in the sheets as well and this turned out really, really pretty. So um, I will go ahead and open this for you. Um, but I got it in the bigger roll because um, I really liked working with it and I loved the colors. So this is um, one sheet of each. Okay, so it has one sheet of each. This, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. And then I've used this before on shirts and it is, super, is it, did I use this one? I think I used this one. This one, it kind of reminds me of like sorbet or something. It's so pretty, or a sunset, and it's super pretty. It's got some oranges and pinks. And then this is a really neat kind of marbly watercolor with some really neat soft pinks. So this is really fun. Again, I've used this in the sheet. I'll, I'll um, put a video up here of some shirts that I made with um, the Cricut Joy with these sheets, and they were really, really, really neat to work with. And the color just turns out really fun. Um, so that was that one. And then I decided also to get, this is another, Natalie Milan patterned iron on and this has again three different ones this one's called the aquamarine sampler it has three different um, patterns inside I love watercolor type things too so I was really excited about um, just the texture look of these um, so look at this nice blue one that's really neat and then I want, I'm really curious about this middle one super pretty look at this one that's really cool and it has kind of a um, interesting pattern in it too so that's really fun and then this one's super pretty as well so those will be really really fun especially for summer I think too um, but I love the just the patterns that are offered on those and again this is iron-on so this will be really pretty again this color is or this um, set is called the aquamarine sampler so how pretty is that those are gonna be really really nice 
Um, another one I got was, this is the Sugarberry Sampler, and it has three different colors of iron-on. So it has a, um, almost like a lilac, and then a pink and a white, and I love that. I love all three of those colors, so I thought that Obviously, I could not go wrong with that. I did pick up this Everyday Iron-On. This is a Martha Stewart one, and I love this because of the color selection inside. Um, it just, I really like it when they have Iron-On or, um, um, <laughs> gosh, I can't even think. Um, Iron-on or adhesive vinyl. I like it when they come in packs because they have a really cool palette. Um, so I think it's just super, super fun. So um, this one has a silver. Isn't that pretty? And then they have more of a blush and then a bright pink and then this green. Isn't that pretty? What is this called? This is called the Gilded um, Tea Rose. Oh, so that's really pretty. And look at the, oh, I don't know if you can really see, but the pillows, um, the example pillows are so cute on the front. But I just liked all of those colors and I thought it was really neat because I like how they put those colors together because sometimes some of the color palettes that are chosen are color palettes that I ne wouldn't necessarily think of, but are colors that are really complementary together. So I appreciate when some of those choices are made for me and then I can just find some inspiration from that. I think that's super fun. And then I did get another roll of patterned iron on. This is the Chantilly sampler. Actually, I'm really interested in opening this up as well. I haven't seen some of these um, or haven't done anything with some of these. This will be br a brand new roll to me. I haven't used this one yet, but this looks really, really pretty. Okay, so this looks super fun. So it is a really pretty um, blush, kind of a peach, more of a peach color, I would say. And then look at this second one. Look how neat that is. That is so pretty. And then this third one. Oh my gosh. That's going to be really fun. I love those. Those are so different too. And they're different from what I have. So I like that I have a little bit of variety um, going on. I did step out of my comfort zone on a couple of these things. So I'm really excited just to try just a little bit of a different look on some things and just see if I like it or not. It's always fun to play around that way with different patterns and textures. Okay. And then I did get some vinyl. This is the um, Nature Walk Green Sampler. They have some leaves on there. It looks like they have three different colors in there um, that are really Really, really neat. I'm really, I'm really excited about this. This might surprise you because this is something that is definitely an example of me coming out of my comfort zone. So I picked up some holographic vinyl. I want to open this because I want to see what this looks like in person. I have a couple ideas for how I want to use this, and I, I've surprised myself with picking this up because um, I am definitely, you guys know, I'm definitely more past and soft tones but sometimes there are some really fun projects that just call for a little bit more fun I guess so this is going to be one of those one of those um, materials that just helps bring out some of the fun so I really want to see how these colors turned out this is the berry sorbet sampler so that looks oops I think I missed one I miss this little guy in here. Okay, so. Okay, so these, ooh, those look so neat. Okay, so there's the first sheet. Let's see if I can pull these apart. And they, it kind of changes colors as you go. Ooh, that one's wild. And this last one is more orange than anything else. I think I like the first sheet the best. This one has a lot of colors that come out in it. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, that's going to be fun. I, I Okay, I'm excited to share the project that I have in mind with this. This will be really, really fun. Again, this is vinyl. So this is adhesive vinyl. That'll be really, really fun. Okay, so the sorbet sampler. Oh, cute. I'm excited with how that turned out. There's a lot of different holographic options on online. So it was kind of hard to pick which one to go with, but that one seemed fun to me. Okay, I also picked up some glitter vinyl. This is the Glam Squad sampler, and so this one has some purples, silvers, a couple shades of purple. There's three um, sheets. These are 12 by 24 sheets. Um, so the, I just thought that those colors were super, super fun. And then, of course, I couldn't resist the pastel sampler. So this has 
six different sheets. They're 12 by 12. Looks like it has a pink and a mint. Let's see if I can even open those actually just to kind of give you an idea of the shades in there. So not completely pastel, pastel though in my opinion. Um, they're not like super, super soft in color, but they are softer, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so we have this nice pink and then a teal, a gray, a yellow. See, I don't know that that's super pastel to me. That's pretty bright in color. Um, this purple, and then I guess, oh, we're back to the teal. So, oh, there was another kind of um, sky blue. So um, the pastel sampler, it, it's cute. It has a lot of fun colors in it, but I would say that it's not super soft in tones. So um, I think there's another one that's always sold out. What, what is that even called? That has a little bit more of softer tones. I haven't gotten my hands on that because it's always, it's always sold out when I want to look at it. But, um, but these, you never know when you are going to need certain colors. Um, I did, um, a post on some teacher cups that I did with pencils um, and they were super fun and I was really thankful that I had some random colors on hand because the project wouldn't have come together without it. So sometimes it's just nice to have a variety of colors um, in your craft space. Ooh, I'm really excited. I want to open this one up. This is the premium vinyl um, Martha Stewart pack. This comes in three sheets, three different patterns too, and it is the Blossom and Vine collection. I'm in love with that rose one on top, but then they have like a mustard colored polka dot one as well in here. And then they also have a vines one. So let's open this up and see what this looks like. Okay. So look at the roses. The rose one is so neat. Isn't that pretty? And then this mustard colored one is really neat as well. That would be really fun for fall. Oh, actually, it would really be fun for anything, but for some reason, that color is screaming kind of fall for me. And then look at the vines. That is so neat. Those are just really fun and different patterns. So um, I thought those were gonna be really fun. That, that, that one did not disappoint. That was really, really sweet. So that one, again, is called um, the Blossom and Vine Collection. So that would be fun. This is removable, um, just so you know. So let's see, the next one is, this is our final one. This is a Rustic Lodge Forest sampler. And I was really mainly wanting to get this um, gingham colored. Um, it's like a, a green gingham. And I just think this is gonna be super pretty for the holiday time when it's time to just get some Christmas decor made up, even some fall decor as well. But this was, definitely on my mind for holiday um, decor. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's so pretty. It does remind me, it doesn't say rust, was it called rustic lodge? It was, I was gonna say it reminds me of like a, a camp lodge or that is so neat. And then this one is just kind of like a, almost a mocha-y checker. And then the third is a wood grain. And I think there's six rolls. So you must get two of each two of each, but that wood grain is kind of fun too. But my favorite, I think out of the three and definitely worth it was this um, gingham color or this checker. This is going to be super pretty come Christmas time. Oh my gosh. So I'm kind of the girl with so many supplies and I'm not sure really where to start for my next craft. So let me know what you guys, you guys have anything in particular that you really want to see first and let me know if you guys have used any of these prints or if you've used any of these materials, let me know too and let me know what you crafted with them because I'd love to hear about it. I think it's always so fun to get new um, materials just because the inspiration that sparks from that is so fun. So let me know what, your, what was your favorite and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now I must get to organizing again. I'm the type of person where everything has to have a home and everything must be in its home and then I feel super confident in crafting once everything is really cleaned up. So that is my next step is to get some drawers going and um, just some 
individual spaces all organized and then I will feel a lot better. So let me know how you guys are all doing and what you're crafting and if you found any of these things really, really fun. Tell me what you guys think about the Cricut Cutie. <laughs> Do you guys collect these? Again, this is my first one and um, yeah, they're, they seem to be the rage. Everybody seems to really like them, but... All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. If you found that some of these were just way too cute and way too beautiful, make sure you give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you see what beautiful things are going to be coming to the craft channel with some of these prints. Um, let me know also if you guys want me to start off with the Cricut coasters for Infusible Ink or if you would like me to try the tote bag first because um, I'm really excited for both, so I may need a little help deciding which one to start with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all in the next video.